Suicide is an evolution of a show that I wrote for the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in 2017. It follows the life of quite a typical, ordinary, average guy called John. It's documenting how he feels throughout his day, when, when he goes to work, and his commute, and, and kind of everything in between. Um, and he has a, a conscience, a very musical conscience, who we actually play. It's a difficult topic, it's a challenging topic. Um, and it's difficult not to get into stereotypes and to get to talk about it in a too much of a dark way. I didn't want it to tackle the issue in a negative way, so I reworked it from what it was before to be slightly more hopeful and positive, um, but at the same time highlighting the real modern issue of male suicide in particular. The interesting thing about it is that the music itself isn't for the sake of music, it's not just like now we're going to sing, it's basically because it's like his internal monologue, we'll have music in our head, so we're like the, his intuition basically. It goes from some ballad to some funky, more dancey, bouncy tunes to some samba, quite a variety of it. It's quite, yeah, it's quite cool. It's upbeat. Yeah. It's quite a beat at and times. Jazzy. Yeah. I threw a lot of different genres at it um, to explore this man's life in a variety of ways. It's an examination of someone's life and no one's life is on one level. So I wanted to mirror that. The lighter side of the music almost kind of um, softens the blow in a way and it kind of gives it kind of levity and you know whimsy and it's just really fun but at the same time it's talking about something that's really serious. It's a, it's a good way to talk about suicide. Uh, it's not actually like a depressing musical, it's like at the end of it, uplifting. The actors on stage are also musicians, so the whole time that we're performing, I've got a guitar in my hand, Sherwood plays drums. Um, and like I said, it's not music just for the sake of we're going to sing a song. This is literally kind of like his internal monologue, but set to pop rock jazz. Mm. Suicide is a good example of new musical theatre pushing boundaries. And as well, it being a musical, it's a very interesting take on it.